Hi there. <laughs> Friendly greetings. It's me, Torley. And in this video, I'm going to show you Sugar Bites Artillery 2. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, thank you. Thank you so much. You may go, wait, didn't you show this before? In some capacity, yes. But time goes on, I do grow up, and I have gotten considerable more experience. So I'm going to explain what exactly is happening here. Artillery 2 is a very cool effect plugin. You can play effects from your keyboard. Now, this is great for me because sometimes I love to slap on effects without having to drag in a new device, new device. Well, in this, you have a multi effect section. You can choose from a bunch of stuff, quality effects too. And it cost you pretty penny. I got a 25% discount, $150 US, I believe it was. And then I started to go to work with it and make more versatile combinations. So here I've set up a totally custom configuration. Well, not totally, I use some of the presets, but hey, that's what presets are for. And I'm gonna play in the style of say Ryuichi Sakamoto and Alva Noto and other sorts of avant-garde pianists that combine the classic sound of a lovely piano with glitch tronica, as it were. This is a very quick way to go ahead and do it. It's perfectly practical for live sets. So first of all, what we have here are each effect, that wasn't totally grammatically correct, but anyway, each effect here is applied to one or two keys. I want them to map over the white notes, so some of them go to the white and black, so it's harder to slip. And if we click, we can see what each one is, a reverser, and every one of them, by the way, is set to toggle, which means that instead of having to hold the key down, I will tap it once, like a button that's impressed, and then release. So let's try this. So you're not seeing any notes play on there because, well, this is in the lower range. So notice where it says right here, C minus one. So the octave here, it's a low octave. And now when I press this, notice the bottomest note corresponds to that. And it will affect it like this. And so on and so forth for each one. So if I were to use this in a, like I was saying, a live performance, I just have my pedal here. And I guess another way you could do this, any sort of MIDI controller that can send notes, if you had a footboard or something else like that, buttons here, touch pads, you could do that too. Just one example. So you, so you could have this whole keyboard, and if you had multiple MIDI channels, then you can make use of it all. Because notice this part here is noticed, is used just for the effects. And everything else is for the realistic piano sounds. So let's get glitchy. And you can have multiples activated. So if I press down another. That's cool. Well, it captures what was in the buffer at that time. So, sorry to disrupt. And you can play over yourself. stutters and I think if I click here you'll see there is is it this one there's some dynamicism due to the universal modulator so you get variations moving up and down So 
a unique delay. Spacey! Hmm, what else do we have? Did I set that to gate? I mean, to tug? Guess not. We'll have to find out now. So let's put everything on. Which piano made easy. 